In a country obsessed with beauty pageants, basketball, and boxing, the Philippine national women's football team hope to ignite interest in their sport when they make the nation's FIFA World Cup debut. Long considered regional minnows, the Filipinas have rapidly improved under former Australian national women's coach Aylan Stadson, who describes their achievements as miraculous. Um, I would like to think we are going to go in there and do more than just um, participate. Um, we're going in there to compete and give it everything, everything we have and to show that um, even though the Philippines, we may be underdogs, we definitely are the underdogs going into this tournament that um, us and along with, I think there's eight in total new teams, new countries for the first time going into the World Cup that we all deserve to be there. We all have deserved this chance for years now and um, we definitely have to prove ourselves when we go. Yeah, so that feels like a lot of pressure. Like, it's obviously a lot of privilege, but with privilege comes pressure and expectations and all those heavy sort of words. Um, so slight pressure and heaviness on my shoulders, but I just remember why I'm doing it, why I'm here and who it's all for. And that's for the Philippines, so it's, it becomes a little easier that way, yeah. So huge that we could bring the Philippine flag and we can bring our country to uh, such a global event as the World Cup, uh, men and women's. But it feels really special to do it as a woman and to show that Filipino women are we're beautiful, but we're also powerful, and um, we have what it takes to complete on the global stage. I mean, our first answer. I never thought it would happen in my lifetime, just because how slow. Um, the progress was here and to have it right in front of me and to have it in a few months and that possibility of being there and joining that tournament and competing is something I never imagined but everything I dreamed of. So it means the world because now you know that the Filipinas, Filipino people can do it, you know, even if we don't have everything but we will make the most out of what we have and it was actually tagged as a rich rich man's sport like for people that are rich and can afford field shoes and all of that but in reality you just need your your feet and a ball and that's why we have a lot of good football players in the provinces because all they have are fields of grass and they just buy a ball even if it's not a football they just kick it around they have more area for a football than a basketball it's just a lack of opportunity in the sport itself and that's why it's taken such a long time for it to, to develop because not a lot of people know about it a lot not a lot of people believe that we can take it to the world stages but most importantly hopefully it's an inspiration to so many young kids to want to take up the sport and have now something have a new level um of, of hero to be able to look at and you said girls but i'll go further i'll say any young kid any young girl any young boy will now have a hero to watch on tv um, that's played at a world cup and, and it's rare it, it's not common and it's not common for uh, a lot of the smaller countries in the world so you know it's a, it's an opportunity that we can't miss